Hello and welcome back to another video. My name is Sol and today we're going to be talking about my trip to the mountains. So, first of all, I, I just got back yesterday from uh, the ashram. Here you go, I got this shirt. I don't know if you can see. It says Sivananda Ashram Yoga Camp. So I got the shirt, you know, I had to get a little souvenir and it was really nice there, but I'll talk about that after. First off, let's talk about the trip to the mountains, which was last week. It was from um, Tuesday and I came back Wednesday. Is that it? Uh, yeah, I did one night. It felt like it was a bit longer, but yeah. So I went to Mount Saint Hilaire, which is a. Uh, I heard from my mom it's a energetic place. Like uh, the story goes that. Well, initially how I first like got interested by this place is um. A couple of years back, I was just in the car with my mom. We were heading back from like skiing or something and we could like see the mountain in the distance and my mom says oh that place is really special like uh there's vortexes there like you'll go through one place and there's like some crazy stories there i don't know she just says that just like that and um it piqued my my interest but you know i forgot it it was just like a couple years ago and then recently probably about three weeks ago I'm watching this video on YouTube and it's uh, places to visit in Montreal you know it's like the city I'm from I was just like interested you know I wanted to watch it like what do I what do I even know about my own city you know there's cool places to go see and well Mont saint was an honorable mention or something like that so it was yeah Faded or destined to happen because it's not even Montreal it's just like a mountain it's like it's not even that close you know it was a two-hour bus ride to get there but he mentioned it in the videos like, oh yeah cool place to go check out Mont saint I'm like oh yeah and then I remember it I'm like oh yeah that's that's a cool place and I mean there's other cool places to go check out but that one's like relatively close and I tell my friend about it I'm like Yo, we need to go together, check this place out. And he's down. So I'm like starting to like set up the trip. And then towards like when it's close to the time to go, he's not so sure. So I'm like, right, you know, it's fine. I'll just go alone. And I thought it would be cool either way just to go there. So I go there. I take a bus there. And yeah, it was about two hours I think and I follow the GPS I just wrote Mont saint -Hilaire. the mountain is like huge but where the GPS brings me it's like a bit of a random spot like if I can uh, pull up a picture of the mountain I'll put like a I'll put a picture to like show where I, I arrived so I arrived there and I'm not too sure what to do but you know I just I go with it. I had a backpack, my tent, sleeping bag, and I start climbing the mountain. And I don't really know the mountain, so it was like not the best place to go up by. It was like a pretty hard climb. But yeah, I start going up, you know, because there's actually a an area with the with trails that you can like walk on and I was like planning to like camp near there and then the day after I'd go like on the trails have fun like I wasn't even like thinking too much about the vortexes and all that stuff by then um, I just had in mind that it was like a, a strong place spiritually energized wherever I would be on the mountain it would like feel good up my energy and it was true but there was also vortexes to check out. I'll talk about that in a bit. So yeah, but where the GPS landed me was 
not close to the trails. It was like to go around the mountain and to go to the area where the trails start was an hour and a half. But it wasn't actually that far because later on I ended up on the trails. I don't know, GPS, you know, it did its thing, it's fine. So I climb up, I have my bags. I, I didn't have that much, but still, it was like a hard climb up. So I go up a bit, I leave my stuff, you know, I on like behind a rock, I go scout up. Cause this is like very uphill. So I didn't think there'd be like people. So I didn't really see people, but later I do. So, yeah, I'm scouting and I go pretty high up and then I come back down and I see these two guys and they're like, they find it funny that I thought I could just leave my stuff there. They're like, oh, there's going to be people, obviously. So they're like, oh, you're not shy to just leave your stuff out there in the open. And they were pretty cool. They were like older than me, like in their 20s. And um, they were nice. They... They knew the mountain pretty well. They'd been here uh, at that mountain multiple times, so they knew the ways up. So they showed me um, a place to camp. We went up together and they showed me like how to go to the top of the mountain. They were cool. And uh... yeah, the spot I had for my tent it was like inclined so I actually didn't sleep that comfortably because to go all the way to the top it was a pretty hard climb I, I went there eventually with my backpack but at first I was tired settled I was like it, it won't matter if it's inclined I didn't realize I'd be like kind of falling as I was sleeping but there was like this tree root that was like holding me in place so I had some medium sleep, but it was all right. So, but yeah, but before that, I went to bed pretty early. I didn't do too much, you know, I think I might have meditated. There was like a little stream of water near where I had my tent. So I could fill up my water bottle there. I had some food. I had a couple bananas, energy balls I made, as well as nuts and some honey. Like, I was fine. I had leftover food at the end. So, yeah, the next day I get up, it's early, like 6.30 in the morning, that's when I got up. Because I like, got woken up by the beautiful sunrise. And what did I do? So, I have my meditation I do every day. So, I did a couple things here and there, but basically, I went to the top of the mountain by the, the path that the, the two guys told me. It was a hard climb. It was like through a, like a lot of rocks. It was like very uphill, but I made it all the way to the top and I didn't go with any bags. I just wanted to like find a good spot to do my meditation. So I walk around, I walk pretty far up, but I found my way eventually to come back. And I saw like the trails in the distance. I saw people walking. So I was like, oh, that's where the trails are. <coughs> so. I was like, okay, perfect. I'll come back and I can go on the trails, you know. And um, at this point, I mean, that morning, actually, I forgot to mention. That's where I, like, looked up the vortexes because I was interested. And I'll pull up the map right here. But it turns out that, like, there was an exact, exact map that showed where the vortexes were. So I was like, oh, that's sick. I'm going to go see them. So, yeah, I go up on the mountain. I do my meditation. And I come back, I eat, and then I go back with my backpack all the way up. And yeah, I'm just kind of going around, but I was using Google Maps to like guide me to find the vortex. But Google Maps wasn't like accurate to the other map. So anyways, I wasn't really going the right way. Um, but yeah. I'll pull up the map again and um, so there was two vortexes one which is like at the end of one trail which is called Pain de Sucre and the other one is just like in the middle of nowhere so I didn't go to the one in the middle of nowhere so I had to go to Pain de Sucre 
And so I ended up on one trail that was pretty close. And it was a long walk. I walked for like three hours that day or like just on the trails, like three hours, maybe more, a lot of walking. And then at the end, it was raining a lot. It was a struggle, but I got through, you know. So I get to Pen Suc, the trail. It was a really long walk. Anyways, and what do I do? So the vortex is near there, but I don't know exactly how to find it. Like while I was on my way to the trail, I looked uh, a video on YouTube uh, about vortexes. And this guy says that it's in like a 24 meter area. And in the middle, you'll have the vortex, which is like 10 diameters, like circumference, which is pretty small. So you have to find it. But if you find it, it's like you'll put your hand above it. It'll feel like water, like a stream of energy. And it's like really sick. So it's raining. And I'm just in the middle of like nowhere in the mountains with my hand out <laughs> looking for like beams of energy and yeah it was pretty funny except it wasn't because it was it was cold but yeah then after an hour of just like goofing around i i felt energy but i don't think i like you know the 24 meters i said i was definitely in there I, at some points i like felt energy but i didn't find the center like if i had my hand out like it was just cold because it was raining so i don't know like i was like is this it you know if there was like a a tree with like a hole in it i'd be like oh this must be it it's a sign and after like doing that for 20 times i just decided okay i'll head back so initially i was gonna do two nights sleep two nights but but yeah it was raining so I was really cold and I just decided, okay, I'm gonna head back today. It was a long expedition, you know, get all my stuff. I had to go all the way back, find my tent, pack my stuff in the rain, it's cold, and then take the bus back home. And my phone was like almost dying this whole time. But yeah, I made it back and it was a fun trip. Uh, This video is getting like, quite long like on the recording i'm at like almost 14 minutes so i think i'm gonna just end it here and do a separate video to talk about the my little trip to the ashram it it won't be like that long of a video so but just like so this one isn't like one super long video but yeah that's pretty much it i hope you enjoyed this is like the first time i do like i don't script the video i actually had like keywords here mountains where the gps brought me the two guys how i slept the food i had the ways up the mountain vortex me looking for them on the trails it was raining so i came back now that's my keywords i i i actually didn't look at them i forgot they were there but anyways so yeah this is the first video i don't write a script and follow it i don't know how it's gonna end up but i just wanted to try it out like there's a lot of gaps in between me talking. I'll try to edit that out. Yeah, so I'm going to get to recording the other video. Hope you enjoyed. See you in the next one. Peace.